Good morning, this is Tom. It is 6 a.m. I'm getting ready for work. And uh, listening to Chad this morning. He's talking to O'Neill is there and uh, the other dude who's really good, Kale. So they're doing their thing and I think it might have been a Paul video where he's talking about the flotillas. And Chad is talking about AA and how that's a very helpful way to organize your with people. And one of the great things was uh, when uh, an old timer told Chad, you're not here to be healed. You're here to serve in some way. You're here to give. And that's one of the strange things about what I think about uh, the church or the groups that gather. People want to come so they can be ministered to. And it's like, well, uh, it really work effectively if we came to give. Because it's disappointing. <laughs> it's disappointing if you come to be served. Uh, it's not always a great meal. Not always real filling. Uh, but if you come to give, it's it just is an interesting perspective. So that was that was good. And then uh, Kale talked about the road to Emmaus. So that reminded me that upcoming, I'm gonna have a couple days away in an event called Walk to Emmaus, and it's some kind of churchy thing where. You take a weekend retreat and it'll be a couple extra days. It might be a four day retreat where you leave everything, all your cares behind and in some way are prayed, prayed for and uh, ministered to. And I think it'll be, you know, it's designed to be refreshing and uh, awakening in some way. And I've always gone to churchy special events so Emmaus and the thing that Kale said that was interesting is, uh, and what it all fit in with what Chad was saying and this, this idea of an aging church and fewer and fewer people to keep a church community alive. And, and uh, Kale talked about the road to Emmaus when there were two disciples and they left and the whole show was over and they're like, Man, now what? They're walking, they're alone, it's just two of them. Jesus comes up, asks what they're talking about, and ends up revealing himself. And they're like, that was, that was fantastic. We thought we were alone. But Jesus was with us in some way. And the idea that uh, it's a very, it takes very few people, plus add Jesus and life appears so a you know a dying church with a couple people they throw jesus in the mix and it's like yeah it's, it's revived it's not dying it's revived so anyway i'm gonna go on this walk to Emmaus event and uh it connects with what i've always done in in ministry because i'm a church guy when i came in i'm like yeah I need a place to be with people. So I was in. When I came into the church, I'm like, I'm in. So I'm doing the stuff, whatever they got going, I'm doing it. And it's almost like AA. I needed a community to be involved with. And I didn't necessarily want to be served. I like doing stuff. So I'm like, I'll I'll do whatever you got and I'll help. I'll be a, a helper. I'll be... I'm, I'm not a great leader. I don't take lead, but I'm, I get involved and then I s find some kind of leadership <clears throat> role, but <clears throat> I don't tell people to follow me. I'm not a commander of men. <laughs> I just don't do it. I don't, I don't know. So I look for the thing that I can do with little supervision <laughs> so that I can be a leader. Uh, and not have to tell people what to do. I don't really like telling people what to do. So, uh, and youth ministry, it's great because kids, you can tell kids what to do and they'll be like, it becomes a game, it's fun. Uh, because, you know, I'm not 
demanding of them. I'm just like, let's play a game. We're going to play a game. And kids are like, I'll play a game. Adults, yeah, we don't want to play games. We've got work to do. Kids will play and just live in this fellowship and weird things. So I always was drawn to youth ministry. And one of the things that I always, you know, it surprised me that uh, how enjoyable it was to be a leader because when you take youth out to any kind of event, whether they receive any kind of healing or any kind of revelation or whatever, I receive it all the time. I go to these events and the speakers are speaking and I'm thinking, man, this is wonderful. It's, it's changing my life. And as a leader, I'm like, I, I'm happy I'm here. I don't know about the students. I don't know if it's affecting anyone. It's affecting me. And that's always been my thing is I'm here because I keep being changed and blessed. I, I can't, you know, I can't fix anybody, but I can be fixed. So I just am always going to these things and they're always wonderful and youth events we'd go for retreats and the students you know I wouldn't I wouldn't demand much of them I'm here just to listen and participate and I would be blessed over and over again and I would just love hanging out with students it's just so fun uh young people are so enjoyable because they're still a bit untarnished by the, the uh, loneliness and hardship in the world. So I've always just loved students because a lot of glory flowing out of students, young people, a lot of glory. So, you know, I take what I can get and I'm, I'm part of my mom. I'm content with very little. It takes very little to make me content. I can just be content. So I'm going to go to work. Yesterday was a little not as fun because there was a little bit of a... I take a... I get a little bit of abuse. I'm not a real confrontational guy. And, and guys love to thump their chest. So sometimes the thumping... You know, sometimes I get rolled over a little. But I'm there to do a little bit of work. And make a little bit of money. And shine a little bit of light. And it's, I don't have expectations that I'm going to receive glory. I'm just going to go and get my hands dirty and make some money, and that's it. So I have too many, all my uh, pictures, what do they call them? The, uh, the images when they do the video. And I'm always I'm laughing with my eyes closed. I've got to stop laughing i've got to keep that serious look and keep my eyes wide open so that the algorithm will grab a, a picture and put it on my video of me not looking like a goofy dope <laughs> so no smiling no laughing no closing your eyes so this is tom heading out and see you again sometime